What's going on guys, Kai Vox here, and uh, it's it's the new year, it's 2020, and uh, we're gonna start it off with, uh, with a wand review, where you guys send in your wands. I'm like way behind, like I think June, I'm, I'm th these wands that I'm gonna be going over today are from like June, or ju maybe into July. If we get enough done, um, maybe August and whatever months come after that, I don't know yet. We, we got a lot, we, get, we definitely have a lot. So basically what happens is I show off your wands. I um, sometimes will redraw them. At least I did that a couple of times. And um, sometimes I just tell you guys, oh uh, yeah, this may not work when you're trying to make it or I don't like this part of it. It's basically my opinion. So if you get offended, I'm sorry. If you are if you wanna see your wands, you can send them in to newwandsday at gmail.com. And I will eventually most likely get around to them. I, I go over, I would say, probably like 95% of them. There are a few that I just I just skip over um, for either because it seems like it's maybe a troll or um, because I don't really have anything to say about it or those are really the only two things. Did I mention that it's 2020? So this is the, I think this is the first video of 2020. Um, the new ones are up on the shop right now. Um, they went up at midnight, so Go check those out. Uh, here's a picture of all of the wands that should be there. They may be sold or selling soon. So if you like one of them, make sure you pick them up before they're gone. Um, and let's let's hope that 2020 is is gonna be good. So this this first wand is uh, was submitted by um, by where is it Matthew from South Africa, um, and it's. There's a couple of issues that we're gonna have with it. That bend is a very sharp bend right at the end there, and it's really long. So one storage and displaying would be kind of weird. What I'm gonna do with this one, um, I'm gonna start off. This is gonna be the one that I'm gonna redraw, unless I later find another one that I that I think I should redraw as well. So this one I'm gonna redraw and uh, tell you guys what what I would change about it a little bit, um, and yeah, hopefully. Hopefully Matthew, um, you know, doesn't get offended that I'm redrawing it, but you know, I'm taking a little bit extra time for your wand here, so it's not a bad thing, right? All right, so we started off with just the general shape, um, and then I kind of stayed true to your design, but then realized that part of that little piece there was not gonna work, that, um, that first, basically the transition from the spiral part to the, to the pommel, just it was it was too much it was too many things going on in one image so i decided against it i basically took that part off and kept it the spiral with the the two end parts kind of just flowing into each other i also as you can see i reduced the the amount of angle that we did for that that handle part just figured it would work a little bit better um not that this is a better design than your design it's just different this is the way that i would come at it trying to make this as opposed to yours I, yours would be very hard like the way that you designed it it's really hard to make it look good in the final product um and yours looks good it's just it would be really hard to make so um this was kind of my take on it and uh yeah nice job though keep designing them send them over i will uh, i will continue to check them out all right next up we have uh some wands sent over by uh diego i'm assuming this is the same diego that always sends us wands and both of these look really good i feel like i already reviewed these but maybe it's because i saw these pictures such a long time ago that i thought i reviewed them um and they look really good and i really like them and i think I don't know if this is real wood or as in real bark um, on the on the pommel of the non-spirally one, but it looks really nice. Just simple designs, a little bit of a stain and some. It looks like some coloring there. Some uh, I like that spiral. Um, it just nothing really much to say. Nice job, Diego. Um, if I don't say a lot about your wands, that means that I don't really have anything bad, negative, or any critiques, um, which is good. This next one is sent over by uh, Adam, and it's another one that, that I think looks really, really good. Um, again, I feel like I already talked about this one. Maybe I did, if I did, whatever. I like it, simple design, beautiful wand. I mean, it's just a cool, cool design, different, 
I, I really like it. I like the little nubs on the guard there. Um, the, the, the blade is a perfect ratio, perfect taper. Just nothing bad to say. Nice job, my dude. All right, next up we have um, a wand submitted by Gandala. I don't know if I'm saying your name right. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry to everyone else that I mess up the name on this video. Um, okay, so this is a drawing and it uh, looks like, I believe you said Skyrim inspired. Um, it looks like a staff, uh, based on the drawing at least. It looks like a, like a big old staff, but I could see it being a wand. Um, I don't know what the, the sphere thing is on the end there. And it would also be really hard to um, insert that sphere with the, with the fingers going around it, like holding it. Um, but it's a cool design. I think even if you were to remove the sphere and just kind of have like the three fingers or two, four fingers, I think it's three, right? Yeah, the three fingers like coming up and holding nothing, but just like kind of there, that would be really cool too. Um, and then the engraving would be, would be cool to do. Uh, Depending if you have like a laser, that would be the easiest way to do it, the cleanest way so that it looks like perfect and pristine. Um, but yeah, cool design, weird, weird, but cool. Next up is uh, Caleb's wand. And uh, this one was made from a twig um, that they found. And the blade is a mixture of a pencil and clay. All right, that works. Uh, and you painted it, so it, it looks good. It looks like a it looks like a wand. I wish the picture was a little bit more um, crisp because I feel like it's kind of blurry and, and it makes it harder to see the details. Um, you okay, dog? You gotta stop farting, my dude. Um, I I think this is a cool wand. I like the the little shape. I like the the straight of the blade. It's it's you know it's it's a more organic straight, but then you got that nice little little small bend on the on the handle pommel part of it. Looks nice. I like the paint job too. You did a good job with that little stripe um, on the on the pommel itself. Looks nice. Uh, Jonas sent over a wand made with a um, uh, looks like a box cutter and sandpaper. Yeah, that's how I made my first one too. Uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of and I, I think I cut myself. I don't remember. I think I did. If you look back at that video, I'm pretty sure I cut myself. I cut myself on the second one too. I cut myself occasionally. My hands are pretty messed up from from that but um i think it looks good i think especially for your first wand it looks really good um yeah i i nothing really nothing to say um it looks nice i don't know what kind of wood that is did you tell me what kind of wood it is birch all right you did i think you did a good job um the only thing you could do to to maybe to make it a little bit more interesting is maybe um carve something into the handle or like a ring or something like just that goes around like just to you know give it a little bit more um so that it just doesn't look like a like a dowel a little bit but you did a nice job the blade good ratio again handle nice perfect perfect ratios so um yeah that's nice nice job by the way um they are from sweden so Hello to Sweden. I don't, did I say hello to the other places? Hello to South Africa. I think it was South Africa was one of the other ones. I don't know if anybody else told me where they're from. So, um, all right, cool. We got some draw, drawings now. <laughs> we got some, uh, we got some, oh, look. Is this the same person? It is the same person. All right, cool. Um, so we have this submission also by Caleb. Um, I am not, picking these i'm just going in order so if there are a few things from the same person um and i don't get to yours in a future video i will hopefully all right so let's take a quick look at these so obviously the first one is going to be the one that looks like uh the one that he has the one that we saw already and then we got some other ones let's see which one is my favorite here out of all these designs i think that the um third one down it's weird, right? So you have a skinny handle and then a big old guard with that rounded end. I think that could be really cool. Um, yeah, I definitely think that could be really cool. I like the little ring that you put. You've done it on a couple of your drawings here. The little ring uh, around the, the blade tip, basically. I think it looks pretty good. And then the other ones could all be, um, yeah, they could all be done, I would say. Yeah, they're nice. These were submitted by Jordine. 
Jordan? It's not Jordan. I know that much. Okay, so uh, first one. Uh, that spiral at the end, I I don't think it would work, but I get the idea. But I think when you come to a 3D version of that, it'll be really hard to transfer because I've drawn that same type of spiral before and it didn't work. Next one down. Um, I like it. I like the, the tapering guard and um, how it gets like kind of angular at the end. Um, I, I really like that. Uh, center one, uh, that, that's the one with the center spiral there. Really cool. I like how simple the ends are. And then the, the guard is, is twisted. Um, yeah, I really like that. I, I think it's, I think that would be really cool to, to try to make. Uh, next one down, pretty traditional style, especially lathe style wand. Um, you know, not a lot going on. Next one down, I, I like. I don't know if those are just grooves cut in or, um, or if it's actually like indented or what you meant for that to, to look like. Uh, okay. And then out of these last ones, I would say they're they're pretty good. Um, I I think if you tried to make them, they would look better. But I think the the drawings don't do the idea justice. Does that make sense? And that happens to me all the time because I have like a cool idea in my head and then I'll draw them and I'll show it to you guys and nobody likes that one that I was like, man, I think that one's gonna be really cool because, but sometimes you can't get your idea on paper properly. So then that happens. And then you have people like me going, yeah, that one doesn't look as good as the other ones. But then maybe in your head you were like, ah, this is gonna be so good. Next one was submitted by Stephanie and they are from um, Alberta, Canada. Hello to Canada. I love Canada, by the way. Um, I, uh, I have one show that's about uh, Canadian people that I watch. It's my favorite show ever. It just automatically makes me like Canada. They're both made out of branches, it looks like. And uh, one of them is much bigger than the other one. I don't know if that, is that red, like natural on the wood? Or did you, did you like stain that? That looks really nice. Um, I think that the, the bands that you did are too clean for this style. Um, but you can also argue that they're not too clean and it's almost like those bands are holding the power in and, uh, and kind of like restraining the wand from, uh, from being n not controllable. I always like to come up with dumb ideas like that for my wands whenever I, I do something weird like that, like, you know, add some metal or something. Um, and then the other one I really like, I, the only thing that I don't, love is I, I maybe it's just my impression based on the pictures but I think it's the um, the blade is a like a hair too big too thick um, it doesn't taper enough but again that's pr personal preference it's it doesn't mean that yours is, it doesn't mean that I'm right it's just if I made it I would have maybe reduced the blade a little bit more take these for example here so um, you can see these are both made out of, made out of um, natural, um, you know, like a natural branch. And uh, what I did is they were actually stuck together. I cut it in half, and um, and made that. So it looks like your your handle is probably maybe not this big, but maybe at the biggest part of it it is. Um, but you can see here, right? So we do have a like a fatter part right here. But when it comes down to looking at it at a different profile, different side, it's much thinner. So the reason that I feel like I got away with making it fatter here on this wand um, was because I made it thinner in, in a different direction. Um, I really, really love these wands. These are these are actually two sister wands that I think are still up on the shop as of uh, today. And we have a little uh, inserted uh, part of acrylic in here. Um, it's kind of like a, like a deep, um, gold color, gold and black. They're a little different too from each other because I did a different finish on both. I, I, this is not this is not about my wands. This is about your wands. I'm sorry, guys. Let's get back to your wands. So, I, hopefully, I explained what I meant about the blade being a little bit thinner. Um, don't change it. Just the next one that you make. Take that into consideration, or don't. Next up, we have uh, two wands. Yeah, by uh, by Anne from uh, Taiwan. So, uh, okay, twin wands. Oh, okay, I see twin because of the phoenix feather. Yep, same phoenix feather. Okay, same female phoenix. Um, so these look like you did some clay work, right? 
Yep, I'm pretty sure these are these are made out of some clay. I, I don't know if you told me that in the thing. They look cool. Um, I, are those like gems that you put at the end or did you just paint that? I can't tell in the image. Um, I like the idea, I, I love the little balls going all the way down and the, the uh, carving, I don't know what that says, but um, that looks really cool. And uh, you, it's nice, it's nice. You can definitely tell that it's made of clay. I'd say that that's the only downside to it, but the design is, is cool and weird and um, I think you did a nice job. All right, next up we have uh, Paul from Germany sent over this one. You sent over other ones. I don't remember if I went over them or not. Um, so this one looks really cool. I love it. it. Like reminds me of a lightsaber, right? Like if, if the colors were different, like let's say if you had made the, uh, the handle like black with uh, maybe like a red wood, like a, like a red heart or a, um, even a purple heart would be cool. Um, or a uh, Paduke or something like that. Like something with like a bright color. It would legit look like a lightsaber. I may have to steal this idea from you and make it into like a lightsaber style wand. Let me know down below if you guys wanna see that because I just got like super excited about that. I think I gotta start planning that out because I think that's a great idea. I just thought of it when I looked at this wand and uh, I think that would look really cool. But this looks super dope. I, I don't know. Um, I know that it, you had a hard time with this because you mentioned that it took you a couple months to make it. And that insert that you have in there looks super clean and was probably the biggest pain in the butt. I don't know if the wood goes all the way through or if it just stops right there, but I really like it. I think it looks like, I think it looks really cool. I think it looks just, there's really nothing else to say about it. Um, yeah, the, again, the only thing that I would say maybe could add something to this is if you did some sort of like little mini, like like fine engraving on the handle or something like that, just to make it, um, just to make it a little bit different. Or even if you did like, cause I know that you stained, you, I, I'm, I'm not sure actually if you stained the wood or not, but maybe if you did a little bit of like, if you did stain it, right, or painted it, um, if you did a little bit of light sanding and some high spots to just kind of add a little bit of contrast. Let me see if I have something like that. All right, so this is an extreme, um, an extreme example of what I'm talking about. So this whole thing I painted, um, I painted green. And then what I did is I went back in with a, uh, with a um, straight like blade basically and sanded away, scraped away some of that paint to like basically enhance the, the highlights, enhance these spots that were slightly higher just to kind of give it more. Cause yes, I could have just left it yellow or I could have just left it green. Um, but I think this just kicks it up that, that notch. I think that's the only the only thing, or if you if you could engrave something on the handle or something like that, that'd be cool too. Some like runes or something like that, um, or maybe even put some some bands around it, like single bands, um, like glue in like some aluminum or something inside to to emphasize the the two pieces that you put on. It's a beautiful one though. It's a nice nice cool weird, awesome. Also, you yeah, made a box. Boxes are hard. Tell everybody in the comments. Anybody that's tried to make a, a wand box how hard they are to make. You really gotta like, it just, it, I mean, you made a pretty simple one. It's just, it looks like cardboard. You folded it up and taped it and stuff. Um, but man, if you tried to like line that with like paper to make it like a different color or something, you would have had some fun. I like the little screen though. You, I like that you put the, the little screen over the thing. Nice. Bartek, 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 Bartek. Bart a uh, 12 year old from Ireland made these ones and uh, pretty good. All right, um, so we have the, the first one is the, the bigger, the fatter one. Um, it's, it, it's not as good as your other one, all right? I like the idea that you have, but um, the only way that this one would have worked is if the branch, because you made it out of a branch, if the branch naturally had the taper the, of the wand that you needed, um, you, it would have been fine. It would, it would have had no problems. Um, but you obviously couldn't have made the blade any thinner because that was the bark and that was the style that you were going for. You wanted the bark there. You wanted the end to be, to be carved down. Um, so there's really nothing you could have done. Um, I think you, I think it looks cool. Uh, I'm assuming that that's the core that you have, uh, 
revealed in on the on the handle there. Um, looks cool. And then this next one you made to try to improve your skills, which I think you did. You are at least 50% better with that second one that you made. So if you do it again, you'll be 50% better than the second one. So that would be like what 75% better than the first one. So just keep making wands and you get better and better. I like this one. The only thing again, it's always it's always the fat, the fat t uh, tips basically the fat blades that I always like complain about and then you guys are always like eh you don't have to do it like that because blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying that you're saying you're complaining but there are some of you out there <laughs> all you would have to do is take like some sandpaper put it down on a table right maybe like clamp it down and uh, and like start sanding like take take the wood and like kind of like support it and like go back and forth like this and just kind of start start turning it if you want to get like a nice flat edge um that's the cheapest way to do it the other way you could also just take the sandpaper wrap it around and 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 carve down on it but um you got to be careful don't go too far because a lot of these little branches will have like a little little like core thing inside of it and then it, it won't work that well um for your next one see if you can go to like a big box store or something like that and buy like a like a one inch piece of um of wood or like inch and a half inch and three quarters um thick piece of wood that's like maybe a, two feet long or something like that uh, they're usually pretty cheap not as cheap as um as a branch from your backyard but reasonably cheap you can also go to like a hobby store they'll have like um they'll have like that hobby wood for carving but usually it's not long enough it's usually they're only like six inches long or something which you really can't do anything with um but they're really really soft so if you can go to like a wood shop that has like really really soft wood um that's your best bet because you're like i know when you were carving it you're probably getting caught and also try to i'm giving you guys a lot of tips in this video i just realized that this is like this is not a a wands basic video this is a this is a wand review but anyway hopefully somebody's gaining something from this um when you're cutting if you if you if you find resistance back off don't continue to try to push um go lighter that means you're cutting in too deep you want to go light if you're going doing it by hand you want to go light you want to take a little bit off at a time like slivers off at a time you don't want to get big chunks unless you have the right tools for it if you're you know using certain tools then it may work uh a dremel is probably your best bet um, I did a, uh, a wand tool video, so if you guys want to go check that out. If I remember, I'll put it up there. If not, just uh, look up wand making tools or something, and you should be able to find my video uh, pretty easily. But yeah, dude, I think you did a good job. I'm not going to try to say your name again, but nice job. I like the, the, the gradient of, the, um, of the, the carving, right? So how it, it goes from white to brown. Next up, uh, we have a uh, Norway wand by, is there a name? Magnus. Magnus is a very Nor Norwegian, Norwegian, Norwegian <laughs> name. Uh, Magnus, that's a good name, man. That's a good name. It's a good, strong name. Um, all right, so this guy, I, I think the only issue that I have with it, I, I, it's, a, it's a general um, straight wand. Um, I, I, it's a little fat, but it's also short. So it's probably not that fat. It's just based on the length of it. It makes it look fatter. If you made it a little bit longer, it's only 10, 10.2 inches. Um, so it's, it's, it's very short. This is like 15. So it would probably mean that it's like, it's like this long. Um, so that's a downside of making a shorter wand. Um, and I know that the Canon wands are much, much shorter than um, the, the ones that usually we make because they just look nicer when, when they're a little bit longer. Um, sometimes I'll still make some shorter wands. It really all depends on the wood too because sometimes you can't find a, like a, a 15 inch long piece of like like um, snake wood or something or, or uh, iron wood, you know, you can only find like a 12 inch so you kind of got to work with what you got. Um, a good way to get around that is if you combine woods, like make the handle out of one thing and the blade out of something else. And if you have two only 12 inch long pieces, you can make it basically as big as you want, theoretically. Nice job, Norway. 
I mean, that's not your name. Your name is Magnus. That, that name, though. All right, next up, we have a wand submitted by uh, Lee? Lee? Yeah, Lee. Um, and what up, Nine? Please don't come up here. What's wrong, pop? Oh, oh, okay. You gonna hang out with me? Black walnuts um, and dark black walnut and black walnut. Okay. Um, it reminds me of a um, beaver tail. And that's all I can think of when I see this is a beaver tail. I like the profile of it uh, very much. It's just the top view, It something needs to be done there. Maybe it needs to like taper in and then taper back out or something. Um, I think the idea is there, I, I like it. And you have a uh, horn, I'm assuming that's the core, the horn serpent core. Oh, okay, it is, yeah, 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 okay, 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 all right. Um, I like it, I, I think just something needs to be tweaked on that handle. Um, it would also be very uncomfortable if you're holding it. Maybe if it just, like I said, I think it should, instead of it just being straight and then like like flat at the bottom, maybe it should like be like flat and then like taper in a bit and then come back out just to make it a little bit more interesting from the top view. I like the I like the logo, uh, the um, the rune that you have on top there. It looks cool. Paul from Germany um, submitted a uh, another wand. Oh, you're scared of the thunder. Oh, so it, it's thundering out and she is terrified. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nine. Look at, oh, Pop. All right, I gave her a treat. I don't know if that's going to, um, she's still kind of walking around going, as long as she doesn't like pee in here, it's okay. Uh, Wow, that's, that's some thunder and a half, hey? Okay, come on. It didn't work. All right, we're gonna try to do this with her here, okay. We have a wand submitted by, uh, by Paul from Germany. And uh, Paul wrote a whole like paragraph here uh, asking a couple of questions. I'm gonna try to answer them as best I can. But uh, first, your wand looks super cool. I like it. It's a nice, simple design. Um, I, I, I see what you did. I, what, so here's the thing. I don't know if you like the lines that you got with the Dremel on the um, on the handle there. What you could do to uh, to uh, stop uh, or to, to get rid of that, you could sand it away. You could obviously sand in the opposite direction as opposed to in the ring form that way. Sand it this way. This is definitely going to be the last uh, the last one for tonight because. Uh, She's freaking out, it's starting to rain, it's gonna be super noisy now. Um, so, I think that your wand looks super nice. I like the black, um, the black uh, blade. I like the black blade, and uh, I, I, I just, I really don't have anything much to say, maybe. I don't know if you did a final coat on it, like an acrylic coat or anything like that. She's panting and vibrating like crazy right now. I don't know how to help you. Um, all right, so you have a couple questions here about the weight, right? So yes, they are pretty light. You mentioned that the heaviest one that you made was 22 grams. Um, they are light. It all depends on the type of wood that you use. If you use a, uh, a Purple Heart, something like that, that's really dense, um, it's gonna weigh more. If you use um, something like birch or something like that, it's gonna be much lighter. So yeah, they, they are pretty light. Um, I would not recommend doing a metal, some sort of metal core or any really insert inside. That's just gonna take away from the wand's like strength-ish because you're gonna have to try to drill it and, and fill it with stuff and it just, it doesn't, it doesn't help. And it doesn't really add anything, right? They're not made for like beating each other with, so there's that. The other question was about giving away the wands, right? Yeah, it's hard to part with them. The ones that I like fall in love with or the ones that I really make for myself, I'll, I'll keep. Um, but it's super cool to know that other people have something that I made um, and hopefully they love it as much as I did or possibly even more. Um, so that's, that's, the, um, that's the thought process for that is uh, 
is it's just it's just nice to know that you know your your the something that you made is like all the way in let's say Germany or whatever, which I know that are a few of my wands are in Germany. So um, it's super cool, man. I, I I really I really like it. That wraps up wraps up the um, first 2020 wand review. Um, and if you guys are interested in any of those other ones that I made, go check out the shop. Uh, you could just Google or type in, um, uh, what is it? What is it again? Enderswands.com and it'll, it'll forward you to the shop. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below, um, you know, letting everybody know which one out of all of these was your favorite. Um, and if you want me to continue to make these videos because I like them, but they're pain in the butt because they take forever to edit. And if you guys want to become uh, patrons and get early access to the wands and uh, you basically be able to talk to us whenever you want, um, go check out the, the Patreon page. Uh, links in the description. And uh, you're right, pup. Thanks for watching. Good job. <laughs> Good job, man. It's okay. It's okay. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, bye bye bye.